Imagine standing under the night sky, looking up, and there, next to the sun, hangs a second star, Jupiter, now glowing softly as a red dwarf. It's a fascinating idea, but for Jupiter to become a star, it would need about 80 times its current mass. Right now, Jupiter is the largest planet in our solar system, a gas giant with immense size and gravity, but it's still far too small to ignite the nuclear fusion that powers stars. If somehow Jupiter gained enough mass, maybe by pulling in matter from space or through an extraordinary cosmic event, its core would compress under unimaginable pressure. Temperatures would soar, and eventually, hydrogen atoms would fuse into helium, releasing energy. But even then, Jupiter wouldn't blaze like our sun. It would become a red dwarf, the smallest, coolest, and dimmest type of star. Red dwarfs glow faintly with a reddish hue, and they burn their fuel slowly, living for trillions of years. The effects on our solar system would be dramatic. Jupiter's added mass would amplify its gravitational pull, tugging at neighboring planets. Saturn's orbit might shift, Uranus and Neptune could drift outward, and the delicate balance of the asteroid belt would be thrown into chaos. Earth's orbit could wobble slightly, enough to alter long-term climate patterns, tides, weather systems. Even the path of comets and space debris would be reshaped by this new star's presence. Yet despite this transformation, Earth wouldn't become a planet bathed in the light of two suns. Jupiter's red dwarf glow would be dim, barely noticeable compared to the blazing sun. At most, it might cast a faint reddish shimmer in the night, like an unusually bright Mars, or create soft, eerie twin shadows at dusk. It wouldn't warm the Earth, and it wouldn't create the spectacular sunsets we see in sci-fi movies. Still, the psychological and cultural impact would be profound. For the first time, humanity would live in a solar system with two stars, even if one is little more than a smoldering ember next to the sun's roaring furnace. And every night, when we'd look up at that faint reddish point in the sky, we'd be reminded of how close, yet how far, Jupiter came to becoming a true sun.